still on testing hey so i just want to say something real quick so i play with my dick my dick is mine my body is mine i get ear piercings and tattoos i do what i want to do the notion of having somebody else dictating what i do with my body is just crazy okay I drink when I want to. I smoke when I want to. Basically, if you keep it real, like we're really killing ourselves. That's what it is. But we do it on our own accord because we have that right to. Having somebody say that you can and cannot have children is so like it's beyond constitutional. It's just taking somebody's human rights away. The the not fuck you. God given right you know what i'm saying and you know it's just really fathom like i just doesn't make any sense because that's like saying you know what you can't jack your dick anymore this is this is my dick or or when you jack your dick that semen that you that you nut out is not yours we have to take it from you i'm not going to keep it anyway but it's just it's just it just sounds crazy you know what i'm saying i just i and i, I was really surprised that more women were not outraged about the the just going when can you say i can have a baby when i can't have a baby or when if i don't want to have one you know what i'm saying like that should be totally up to the woman and i'm telling you from like i don't want to say personal experience but i've been with somebody that has had an abortion and you know what just let me say this right here i was very affected okay just let me say that i was affected for one that okay uh, i want to say she didn't tell me because she wasn't going to tell me at first. And before I can actually act on it, she had already went along with the procedure. And like still to this day, you know, it it had it has fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but at the end of the day, it is her right whether she wants to have this baby or not. She's the one that's going to be caring for uh, for nine months. She's going to be nurturing the baby. And, you know, this, that, and the third, all that is really hers because I'm not holding shit. Okay, ain't no babies coming out of me, so I don't see why you should be able to to, to dictate when a woman can have a baby and when she cannot. Okay, I'm not holding no that damn baby. That shit like it's painful. I seen I got four beautiful babies. I seen all of them come out, and that shit don't look like it's fun at all. Okay, shout out to the women. Hey, and then once again, I always say this, and people get mad at me. We are designed. Okay, we are created. A certain way man has nothing to do with how we are designed and how we are created okay god made it so women have motherfucking babies okay all right not man not the political shit nothing like that you know what i'm saying and for just to even to fathom to think about you gonna tell somebody what they can do with their body is just really bizarre to me okay let me get that shit away anyway um I think that's crazy. So do what you want to do with your body. I think more women or more people should be protesting and having a, a, a voice about that. You know what I'm saying? But it does affect the guy because like a woman can, you guys can have sex, right? And the guy be like, well, you got pregnant? Well, here go plan B. Go ahead and take that because I don't want any parts of it. She can be like, fuck that. You rich, you a basketball player. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to have this kid any motherfucking way. And guess what? You stuck. You you stuck paying child support for a kid that you didn't want for 18 months or for 18 years. Damn. Got your ass. <laughs> I mean, that's real life. That's real life. That's why I always say, too, be careful who you have your kids with. OK, I can't stress that shit enough. Be careful who you have your children with. But at the end of the day, it is the woman's right whether she wants to have this kid or not. And, you know, I don't want to say it's fucked up because it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Because you men are not holding the baby. No other woman is holding the baby besides that one. So I just want to say that real quick. And, yes, I did say I play with my dick. It's mine, and so is my semen, and I do what I want to do with it. Peace. That's like, telling, that's like somebody telling me I can't jack my dick. Like what? I just I pull my shit out, and just start jacking right here. Like I, 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 I can't do this, huh? Just bust all over their fucking face. You gotta be shit. This is mine, you know. And you didn't give it to me. 
this is God given, okay? All right, all seven inches is mine. You leave me the fuck alone. All right, I'm gonna bust this nut. I'm gonna jack my dick when I feel like it because it's mine and I can. That's it. <laughs> and you know what else is funny? Women try to tell men what they can and cannot do with their dicks. You just, I just, it just came to me, you know, earlier. I had already ended this video. It just came to me like women try to tell you men what we can do with our penises. But we can't tell y'all what to do with the baby? Hey, come on now. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. You can't tell me who to fuck or not to fuck because this is my body. Mm, I want to hear the comments on that shit. All right. If you guys can choose when and if not you want to have a baby or not, we should be able to choose who we fucking. Okay? It makes sense to me. Let me holler at your boy. This is my penis. And if you try to say no, well, then you're a fucking bigot. You're, you're, mm -mm, there ain't no double standards. If you can choose, if you want to have a baby or not, then I can choose what I want to do with my dick. It's mine. Very nice dick.